Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Where I'm tired of spawning crappie. We still got some, but I did try a different location this morning, uh, sunken bridges, and it. Uh, well, I caught a couple there, uh, but I caught a nice big old catfish. I'll show you here in a second. But uh, that's about it. I said I'm packing up. I'm gonna go try the bridge. I've not fished this bridge in a long time. Not 100% sure they're here, so we are going to try that today. Uh, I will be using the 8-foot, uh, make sure that's the 8-foot, I believe it, yeah, 8-foot, uh, two-piece by ACC, great rod. And what I'm doing is, well, I'll show you that in just a minute, uh, but I'm, I'm using a, I'm trolling. So I'm going to troll right around all these bridge columns, and I'm pretty sure these fish are back in here. Not 100% sure. But they've been spawning here. We've been catching them in the shallow since the beginning of February. It's now the beginning of April, so uh, we're still catching them in the shallows. But I'm going to assume that they're here. We're going to find out in a second. So y'all stay with me, and hopefully we'll catch some big old bridge crappie doing some trolling. Guys, as we do in every show, we've got to start out with a prayer, and uh, y'all would bow with me. <sighs> Lord God, we thank you for today. We thank you for uh, your love, your mercy, Lord God. We thank you for allowing us to be out here today. We're keeping us safe this morning in the spots that we were, <clears throat> and I pray right now you keep us safe today, Lord God. Help us to catch some fish. Pray for anybody watching right now, Lord, that you'll uh, help them to, to give their issues, Lord, whether it be um, addiction, whether it be... Uh, just pain, whatever their, their issues are, Lord God, I pray that you'll allow them to give it to you to, to let you heal them, Lord God, and have that faith. We love you. It's in the name of your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Big old freaking catfish. Y'all know how I feel about these being in my boat. Don't like them. Yeah, you can talk all you want. You're the one who bit it. Now I gotta unclog all this. Ugh. Slime. You know what guys, I'm I'm moving to a different part of the lake. So guys, at this point I just put the dang boat on the trailer. Drove on down to about 15 miles down the lake to start a whole new video because I'm not catching anything worth catching here. All right, guys, so here's what I'm doing. Um, I've got, well, I've got a couple things. Let me show you on this camera here. First, what I'm doing is I've got a swivel and um, two weights on here. And the reason for that is I want this thing to be down low. I want it to stay low, okay? Um, I'm going to be fishing about 15 foot, then I've got, man, it's probably, what is that, four, four and a half, five foot leader on here with a jig right there. The whole purpose of this thing, guys, put this pole back here, uh, the whole purpose of this, when I 
when I sink down, give me a second. There we go. Let's try that. So when I drop it down, I start trolling, this part is gonna sink down faster than this one will because there's more weight. And so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be trolling at, uh, I'm gonna drop it down to 15 foot, so by the time it starts moving up, as I'm going with my trolling motor, it's, it's just gonna be going like this. And those fish will attack this thing if they're there. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm using a purple jig today, uh, purple and white, but I use different colors. Uh, all the time they work fine. Orange works great out here. Uh, blue is always a, a hit on this lake, but uh, we are gonna just get out here and troll it. So I'm probably gonna do wind speed is pretty low. I think we got like a three, four mile an hour wind today. So uh, we did this morning, I think it's more five now. So we're gonna be trolling low. I'll probably be on, I'm guessing three on my trolling motor. And uh, let's get to it y'all. I'm going to turn my live scope on just so I can see if there's fish. We're not going to record any of this today. I forgot the camera or the phone. So one thing, let me just tell you this while I'm thinking about it. If you guys have a spare iPhone with you, i got to take these socks off. I was in a bib a minute ago. If you have a spare iPhone uh, with you, it's a great thing to record Active Captain with. That's what I normally do because i got to turn my phone off totally, meaning the uh, cell signal, in order to record and not be interrupted. And so uh, what I do is I just have an old phone that I hook up on here and it allows me just to record for, I think, three straight hours, the longest I've done it so far. Uh, that way I can go back and kind of edit that footage. So the way I measure this, for me, there's two ways to do it. You can, so I got an eight foot rod. I can get to the bottom of the rod and double that. I know for me, I just got to hold it up there and get my, my weights in the water and I've got about 15 foot. Here we go, got the first fish. Nice little black. Who inhaled it? There we go. Good little, actually that thing still, is either fat or needs to spawn. And it's over here in the, at the bridge in 20 something foot, foot of water, man. Not bad though. Go that again. So it's one thing I do. If I catch one, I go back in that area. The other thing I'm doing, I'm looking for active fish, guys. So you, just like on a brush pile, uh, you're gonna have a bunch of fish in there, but there's only gonna be a couple that are active. So what I'm doing is going through here. There are a lot of fish in there. I can see them on the live scope, but there's not very many active. That fish, I did watch him come up. Kind of wish I had that on active, Captain, but. I'm just kind of give you an idea, but he was sitting on the on the column between the post and the column. There's a column that goes across there. I just saw him shoot over and get it. One act of fish. crappie keeper for sure man eh, maybe not he's he's on the verge boy man these people you get these guys out here that have no idea about this lake there's a guy just cutting right across the field no, no idea good fish right there though guys another thing to do when you're uh, when you're doing this something that nobody even thinks about if you're trolling like this, keep your motor straight. If it's angled, it's going to work just like a fin and going to kick you off to the side. So what I'll do sometimes, if the wind's blowing me a certain way, I'll angle my motor a different direction just to kind of push me back in there. If not, I'll wind up kind of going at an angle. 
with the bridge. That's a good fish right there. Let me get out of here to, to bring him in. a little bit. Ooh, that's a good fish. Let's see if I can even get him in a boat. Ooh, come on, baby. Nice crappie. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Look at that. She has not spawned yet. Get out of the camera. Look at that. Look at that belly. She has not spawned at all. Man, you're thinking, look at this, April 4th. We're thinking, okay, we're gonna catch some already spawned out fish. No, she has not spawned. Wow. Oh, this is, all right guys, I think I caught a striper or a catfish. Big old cat, dang it. Guys, the good thing about this though is I'm, I'm looking at live scope. I'm looking at it for a reason. I like to study the fish, okay? But you don't have to use live scope to do this. This is a very easy way to do it without live scope. In fact, that's what I'm going to title it without live scope for the simple fact of you don't need it. You just kind of figure out where those fish are. If you don't catch anything in the first, say, four or five passes, go ahead and try deeper. Or if you want to start deep and work your way up, that's the way to do it. It's just an easy way to do uh, fishing without having a lot of electronics you know what I mean if you have a uh, side scan great thing just pass by it take a look see where the fish are set your depth accordingly and start going so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm staring right there at my trolling motor kind of watching I can look at the trolling motor and look at the the uh, the bridge and just judge where I'm at. Very, very easy to do. Oh, I tried to go a little lower. Did I get him still? <laughs> I drop it down lower to see what would happen. This is what I caught. <laughs> Cute little thing. So this, you know, we, we talked about spawn. This is a perfect time to, to do this. So this right here is probably last year's spawn, guys. Um, they grow 10 inches roughly in this area, about 10 inches in two years. And uh, this thing is maybe six. So I guarantee you this was one of last year's fry. Put her back down, grow up. She'll be an eater next year. All right, guys, so we are gonna go ahead and call it a, wrap this session up, um, call it a day. So uh, I've only got about, well, I've got about two hours left on the lake. My son has a track meet today. So I've got to go do that, but uh, 
I want to go and check some uh, brim, some uh, perch beds, and see if maybe they're starting to get in there. So um, if I find them, that'll be the next show, guys. So y'all hang in there. I appreciate you watching this. Just one thing, you know, this we didn't catch a ton of fish today, but it, it is showing that they're coming back. So um, again, April 4th today. So they're still in the spawn, as you saw from that one female that I caught, still in deep water. And uh, either she's got a diet problem and she's just eating all kind of food, or she has not spawned yet, but she's carrying it like, uh, like a non-spawn fish. So um, they're still spawning for sure, but they are starting to come back in these deeper waters as well. So uh, I've seen a lot of them down there in live scope. That's kind of what I was doing, was watching just to kind of get a good idea of what I'm seeing and uh, not really using it to fish, just using it. But again, this technique is a great way to fish if you don't have live scope or any kind of graphs. Um, just come up to a pole you, and really, you can sit there and drive up to one pole, sit there and throw at them all day long or you just troll right by them and catch the active fish because that's what you're looking for is the active fish. The non-active fish are not gonna bite. So anyway, I appreciate it guys. Y'all have a great day and we will catch you on the next episode. Take care.